Hey everyone, it's Brian. In this video, we're talking about the top five things I think you can't do if you want to be a math major. Now keep in mind, these are just my opinions on the day I posted this video, and there are probably exceptions, probably people out there that can be math majors if they do these things. But if you do like the video, make sure to hit the like button so both I and the YouTube algorithm know to show you more videos like this. With that out of the way, let's get into it. The first thing you cannot do if you want to be a math major is hold on to the plug and chug mentality. What does that mean? When I say plug and chug, I mean taking a formula and substituting values in to get the answer. Many entry-level math courses are like this. Many people like them, but that's not what a math major is about. I think many students enjoy introductory calculus and want to go on to be math majors. The problem here is that many calculus courses are kind of plug and chug. You go to class, you watch the lecture, you learn the theory, but you never really use the theory. You just use the formula at the end of the theory. You memorize that and you plug numbers in to get the job done. Now this is fun and to be honest, I think I'm a little guilty. I think I loved plug and chug math and I think it was part of the reason I became a math major. But you're in for a wake up call if you think that's all you'll be doing. When you get into those pure theoretic math courses, I'm talking real analysis, abstract algebra, topology, I don't know that there was any real plug and chug going on. Almost everything I did in those classes came from memorizing the definition and drawing logical conclusions when you start putting things together. You have to think abstractly and you're not really dealing with formulas anymore. In fact, maybe we can just expand this point to forget what you know about math, come in with an open mind. The second thing you must do to be a math major is embrace the grind or the struggle. The students that don't embrace the struggle of what it means to be a math major really get down and dirty with the math over a long period of time will never succeed at the same level as the students that do. The fact is, sometimes the major is just grueling, it doesn't make sense, and you just keep pounding a problem, pounding a problem, and it's just not clicking. You are not always going to understand concepts right away the first time you see them. I know for me, it often took weeks before I could even wrap my head around a simple thing, and even then, I'm not sure I really got it. Part of being a math major is just trying and trying and not understanding and trying anyway until finally things start to click. That's what I like to call the grind. Math is a pretty grindy major sometimes, and those students who don't want that might want to pick something else. My third point isn't that you can't be a math major if, but you probably shouldn't be a math major if you don't know what you're going to do when you graduate. And yes, you could say this about any major, but I've said this before, I think a math degree is kind of a high price to pay for not knowing what you want to do. You don't pick a math major because it sounds cool. You don't pick a math major because it's impressive. It's a grindy major. It's not something you want to pick without having a plan to follow up. Unless you're the type of person that absolutely loves math and can't picture themselves doing anything else, you should be able to tell me what you're going to do or what your plan is when you graduate. There are plenty of jobs out there for people with math degrees. Let me know in the comments if you want to see a video on math major careers. I'm just saying no matter what your major, you should know what you want to do with it when you're done school. The fourth thing you can't do if you want to be a math major is not want to think abstractly. Math is one of the most, if not the most, abstract subjects out there. You'll have to think about things in a very different setting than you're used to. There may not always be real life concrete examples for what you're looking at. I spent lots of time in some of my grad courses trying to relate some concept to some other area of math or something in real life, and a lot of times I just don't think there was anything. When you're doing pure math, you learn the definition, and that's, that's just what it is. It's just the definition. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything other than that, and that's sort of hard to accept. Like I would look at a definition and I'd be like, okay, it's defined as this. Well, what does that mean? And well, it's kind of circular, it means exactly what it says, and that's all it is. And then you take that abstract definition and you do other abstract things with it. And I think somewhere along the line you just start thinking, well, what's really the point of all this? What's it doing for me? And sometimes the answer is nothing. <laughs> not that there isn't a point to it, there's definitely a point to it. What I'm saying is that not every example you'll be able to relate back to your life. Most every problem in pure math is dealt in the realm of abstraction. You have to be able to think about something logically, rationally, reason with it, play with it, and not really know exactly what it means 
other than what it's defined as. The fifth thing you can't do if you want to be a math major is hate math. I mean, you have to enjoy it at least a little bit. If you don't like math, I really want to know why you want to be a math major. Certainly there have been mathematics graduates who didn't really care for the subject, but I'm hoping they listened to my third point and had a pretty good reason for why they picked the major. I would say if you want to be a math major, you have to enjoy it at least a little bit. I mean, come on, it's how you're going to spend four years of your college. Maybe way more if you want to go on to graduate school and or teach like many people do. You could probably apply that to every major. Any major you pick, you should enjoy at least a little bit. Now, if you're still interested in becoming a math major, click this video right here. I picked it out just for you, and I think you'll enjoy it. I'll see you in that one.